My preferred candidate is uh, Bola Ahmed Tunum. And uh, to me, he is the best among the four. And my reasons are like this. First, uh, for continuity's sake, Buhari has been the president for eight years. And there are a lot of projects, uncompleted projects by the present administration. And in order to have a seamless, uh, to see more realistic uh, work or progress, development, we need to give the same party the chance to continue so that these projects will come to fruit and we'll see the real development that we're beginning for. Second, Tunubu has been a governor of Lagos State for eight years. And we all are witness to what Lagos is today. Lagos is not just a state in Nigeria. It's an economy in itself. When you compare Lagos economy to the rest of West Africa, Lagos will come around one or two. And even the debt profile of Lagos, sorry, the tax profile of Lagos, they, they collect tax far better than the federal government. Infrastructure, we can see, the development in Lagos is far greater than what you have even in the federal capital. And, we, and Lagos has this because they have had a continuous uh, uh, government from Tunumbu to Poshola, from Poshola to Ambode, from Ambode now to the present government. So for one to see, development is not just something of one or two years. It takes time and patience before you can really see the real fruit. So if you are to say now you are to give another person the chance to come on board, he might start all over again and we might find ourselves in the, in, 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 for the next eight or 20 years. There are people that are given chance for, PDV has been around for 16 years and they messed up with the whole thing. So for us to see the real change, we need to still give them another eight years so that we can really see what, have a, 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 a realistic uh, development. People, yes, as we know, people might start complaining now that things are hard, but for things to get better, just compare yourself to surgery. When you go for surgery, it's hard, but after the surgery, and you, are, you, you, you get well. There's no way you can have surgery without pain. But if you don't have the surgery, you're not going to get okay. So yes, we are, we are, we are rebuilding things now. So for me, Tunumbu will continue from where Buhari stops. And with what Tunumbu has done with Lagos, I think if he can replicate that for Nigeria, we'll be in a better position. Far better than what, where we are today. Atiku has the chance to unite Nigeria when he was in PDP. He was a vice president for, for, for eight years. What has he contributed? What, what, are, the, what are his inputs? And if you go to Atiku's track record, I don't think he's going to be a good president. To me personally, I have been closely watching his, uh, his, uh, his, his records. There are a lot of, there are a lot of a lot of accusations, accusations based on accusations that have substance. It's just that we're in a country where they don't go far. If we are to go far, I don't think Atiku will, say, will, will, will even contest for the president of Nigeria. He has a lot of allegations on him that will disqualify him naturally if, if we are in a more developed place. Peter Obi, I don't know much about Peter Obi, but for me, I, I, I have not had anything while he was governor. He has been governor for, is it four years or, or eight? But if he has done something really big or better, I think we'll have had it by now.